Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a find and replace missing item script that will go through to any of your items that are missing in your project and replace them um, and look for them in a given folder. So in my case, I have two pieces of footage that are missing and what I'm going to do is tell it uh, the regular project folder here that contains everything is the folder I'm going to look through and on my computer I have a reference to the documents test folder where I have the uh, footage to be looked for. So once I run this it's going to go through and look for any of the footage and replace it if it can find a name match in the folder we give it. So you can see here we've replaced these missing footage with their proper footage. And the whole thing is undoable as well so if we want to undo it we can simply do that and go back and forth to see the changes. So let's go ahead and get started. We're we're just going to open up a new JavaScript file and we're going to start off by creating a function called replace missing files. So I'll say function replace missing files and we're going to need two things inside of this. We're going to want the project item uh, folder to search in because typically when you're importing projects, um, if you go to import file and import an After Effects project, it will import the thing as a whole folder. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a folder to look through just to make it easier. So I'm going to call that uh, argument the project folder item. And then we need a system level folder to search through. So in this case, um, I have the footage in this test folder and we're gonna be referencing to this. So let's just call it the system folder or better yet, we can call it the search folder path. Then I'm gonna create a few variables. The first one called this folder. And then I'm also gonna have a resource folder, which is gonna contain um, a folder object with our search folder path. So in this case, we're gonna make that a folder object with this path. And when we call this function, what we're going to be doing is saying the project folder item, which in this case is going to be referring to app.project.item1. And then for the search folder path, again, I'm going to give it that documents test folder. So in double quotes, I'll go ahead and paste my path in there. And this is the folder item in After Effects we're going to be using and the folder on our system, which we're going to be searching for. And I'm also going to set this folder equal to our incoming variable called the project folder item. Now we basically need to run a loop through this folder here uh, and look for any files that could be missing. So I'm going to take our this folder and we're going to loop through it by doing a for loop. We'll say var i is equal to one because it will start at folder.itemsi and then we'll go till it's less than this folder.numitems and increment it by one. Now, just to make sure this is working, I'm going to write line this folder.itemi and I'm gonna grab the name of it. So now when we run this, you can see we're gonna get a full list of all of the files it looks at inside of here. Then there are two checks we need to do to see if it's uh, valid to have a missing file and as well if it has the missing footage that uh, makes it look like this and have these bars. So the first thing we need to check is if this folder.itemi, the first thing we need to check is if it's an instance of a footage item. And a footage item is basically a reference to footage imported from your file system. It can be MP4, MP3, any of that. Then a second check we're going to do within that is we're also going to check if it's missing. If you load up the scripting guide and go ahead and type in dot footage, you can see we have dot footage missing. It's an attribute for any AV item, which is what we uh, just checked here basically. And it's going to return true or false whether or not the footage is missing. So if this folder dot item I dot footage missing is equal to true, meaning if the footage is actually missing, it doesn't know where it's located on the hard drive, then we're going to run some code. And the code we're going to run is going to be a custom function called find and replace missing footage. And I'll go ahead and define that down here. And the two things we're going to need are the item that we're looking at that's missing because we're going to need the name of it to search for. And then we're also going to need our search folder, which is now called resource folder. So I'm going to pass two arguments into find and replace missing footage function. We're going to give it this folder, the item I, again, because we checked if this was a footage item and that indeed the footage from it is missing. So we're going to bring in this item as well as our resource folder. And then inside of here, we'll just uh, call this our item and our system folder, or we can even call it the 
search folder. And just to make sure we're getting the right uh, names in here, I'm going to right line both of our arguments to make sure we're getting something valid. And then as you can see, I get one of the missing footage names, the folder name for the search folder, which is our test folder. And then again, another missing footage and a reference to the test folder. So we're gonna now create something called, a variable called search items. And this is gonna be equal to our search folder dot get files. What this will do is take any folder we give it, in this case, our test folder, and return all of the, the files within it. So in this case, it'll return two. If we were to refer to just our documents, it would give us all of these files. Then what we're gonna simply do is loop through all of these search items, and each time we're gonna check if it has the same name as our item. So I'll create another for loop for var i is equal to zero because we're starting with our search items array, which all arrays start at index zero. For i is less than, our search items dot length increment i by one. And then we're gonna have a big fancy if statement to check if they're the same. And what I'm actually gonna do is change the argument item to missing item. That way we remember that this is what we're missing and looking for. What I'm gonna do is say if search items i or the current file or search item in our test folder we're looking at dot name dot replace and we're gonna replace um, percentage sign two zero, which is sort of the, which is sort of a strange notation for spaces. We're gonna replace that globally with a space. And I'm actually gonna check the FS name, which will contain the whole path to the file, as well as the file name. And we're gonna replace all of these characters, percentage sign two zero with spaces, because it's a strange uh, sort of formatting that it uses for folders sometimes. And we're gonna check the index of our missing item dot name. And if that is not equal to negative one, then we successfully basically found our item. And what I'm also gonna do in case if the missing name has a space in it, it's gonna give us again, a percentage sign two zero. So I'm gonna replace the name with uh, that as well. So now let's have a right line in here anytime uh, we reach it. Let's see what the I value gives us. So if we run it, you can see we need to give it a semicolon and we run it. You can see we get i equals zero and i equals one. That means we're successfully finding an item twice, which is perfectly fine because those are the two items we're looking for. In fact, we can also give the name of our search items i, as well as the name of our missing item. Now when we run it, and now when we run it, you can see we're gonna get the first time through our 3D lightning accent for the search item's name, as well as our 3D lighting accent for the missing item, and the same thing the next time through with our storm clouds. Okay, and now that's all left to do is to replace it, which we can do by going to the JavaScript extended guide and typing in dot replace, and we have an av layer dot replace source, which is if you're replacing a layer, and we want the footage item dot replace. We wanna replace the actual items over here with a file. So we're gonna get rid of these right lines since we know it's working. And we're gonna take our missing item, dot replace, and we need to replace it with a file. In our case, it's relatively easy. We're just gonna grab our search items index i that we've successfully uh, compared to the name of our missing item. So now it actually should be working, but what I'm gonna do is where we call it here, I'm going to say app.begin undo group, and then after I'm gonna say app dot end undo group so that we can easily redo it or undo it is if anything messes up or if we've replaced a ton of files. So now if we go ahead and run the script, you can see within a few seconds, it's going to automatically uh, replace all the missing footage that it can find. Obviously, if I give it a folder like this um, where the footage does not exist, it's not gonna successfully find anything, which is fine. One test I wanna do actually is take the footage from this test folder, put it now into the documents, which has a ton of different files in it, and see how long it takes it. So go ahead and run this. And still very fast, maybe an extra half second added onto the processing time, but it's still gonna go through all of the files, and if it finds a match between what the name of our missing file is and one of the files in the folder we gave it, then it will replace it. And this can be applicable to all sorts of items that are based on files, whether it be footage, audio, or image sequences.
But that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe and the bell icon next to it to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. The script code for this will be in the description in the GitHub link where you can also follow us there and follow us on Instagram to be notified of behind the scenes and fresh video uploads. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one.